Good morning and welcome to week five on plan and week one on step four. So I've done four weeks already on step three and I've lost 11 and a half pounds, which is incredible. I wasn't doing it for the weight loss. I was doing it more for educational purposes to kind of show the steps and show the steps that include food. So people don't always just think that the one-to-one -one diet, Cambridge diet is just products, because it's not. I mean, the products are amazing. I have my vanilla latte every morning. This is week one of step four so I'm really excited to take you along and show you what I'm going to have on step four. I've already planned my first day, it's a busy day. I've got some blood tests later on this morning in Winchester. If you watch my other vlogs you'll see that I had a hormone appointment with like a specialist hormone doctor, she's amazing, um, to try and help me balance my hormones naturally with like maybe supplements and with a good nutritional diet. So I thought learning those techniques would really help me in the future with my slimmers as well because I have a lot of ladies around my age you know maybe a bit older that are going through either perimenopause menopause or postmenopause so it's good to know I will be there and I will update you with the results hopefully later on this week to see how we're getting on there if you're enjoying these vlogs keep watching please hit the thumbs up down below to show your support and hopefully get these videos out there to more people and yeah keep watching right so I've just got back from my um where is it my little blood test <laughs> and then I've got this to post and then hopefully I'll hear soon so I'll keep you posted about that. I've just popped home before I go and see Debbie so I'm going to go and see my sponsor Debbie today and I'm going to quickly make my lunch now so I'm going to make a tuna. I've already prepared the tuna from yesterday. Tuna with extra light, lighter than light mayo because it's hardly any calories and actually mixed with tuna it's all right in one of those carb light wraps so I'll just make that now and I'll show you. I'm going to eat that quick and then go and see her. So these are the wraps from Delhi Kitchen. I got them from Sainsbury's and you can get them in M&S I think as well. And they're called Carb Light Wraps and they are 127 calories per wrap. And I've already got my tin of tuna here mixed with the mayo. I'm gonna put that in with some lettuce and tomato if I've got it and I'll show you. Oh, no salad left until the shopping comes tomorrow so I'm just gonna have to have it like this. So that's my wrap. And I'm going to have it with one of these banoffee pie, high protein pudding yogurts, what are they called? How much, how many calories are they? 90 calories per pot. I think that's pretty good for a little pud. So yeah, I'm going to have that for my lunch. See how it tastes. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Those wraps are really good. They're really soft, but... Top tip is don't pre-make your wraps because they go really soggy. I learnt that in week one, I think, of step three. Hmm. That's a good wrap. Okay, so it's definitely more like a yogurt, but it's lovely. Very banana-y. I love banana flavour. Mmm. Lovely. All right, I plan my day. I have my, my breakfast, was my shake, I had my lunch, and then I went to Debbie's. And later on, I'm going to have the fish cake with... Brussels sprouts that I've got in the freezer and some broccoli and I'm gonna have a fruit and nut bar later and that leaves me enough calories to have my favorite yogurt and berry snack so I've just got my berries out weighed them out 100 grams and I will add them to 100 grams of fat-free Greek yogurt later with a little bit of sugar-free syrup probably have that after the school run then I'll have my dinner a bit later and then I'm gonna have my bar in the evening so yeah, in total, that comes to 1,195 calories. Right, these are the fish cakes that I'm having. I'm just gonna have one of these tonight with some of this, this from Sainsbury's, which is the Brussels sprouts with bacon, thyme, butter. I've got 100 grams of that, I've got a fish cake, and then I've got 100 grams of broccoli as well. So that's the frozen um, Brussels just frying. That's the broccoli, fish cake's in the oven. I'll show you it when it's put together. And here it is. Buttered fish cake with pea, crushed pea I think it is. Broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Delicious. Just want to do a quick shout out. These heatless curls are amazing. But I tried a new technique last night, so I was doing one one way and one the other. Oh my God, it is so good. Honestly, no heat whatsoever. You've got to try them. I'm going to tag them in this video because they're the best ones I've ever tried. Unfortunately, not much survives the school run. It's damp, it's wet, it's cold. 
That side's basically dropped out. That side stayed in a little bit. That's the only thing with heatless curls, I guess, is they don't always stay in. But if you're gonna be inside, it's fine. I just need to probably cover my hair. I've just made my, where have I put it? My breakfast, vanilla latte, always. Love it. I'm gonna plan out my day in a minute. We've had a problem with the heating, so the radiators for some reason aren't coming on downstairs. We don't know why. We've checked the boiler, done the pressure that you know, it's normally the pressure's dropped, but that's fine. The water's still hot, weirdly. So I could still have a bath last night, but it's freezing. So I've got my little heater in the lounge from the office. <laughs> We've got someone coming around in a minute to have a look. So fingers crossed they can fix it today. Honestly. Right, quick lunch in between calls. I've gone for the carb light wrap again, and today I've got salad, yay! So ham, lettuce, tomato, and salad cream light, of course. Gonna have a packet of these quickly as well. Also more water. You have gotta drink so much water, guys. It's good for you. Good for you, on or off plan, in general. A lot less hungry if you drink at least two liters of water a day, even not on plan. On plan, I want you to have at least two and a half liters, ideally three to four liters. It would help with being on plan. Helps curb the hunger, helps with any side effects, makes you feel good. So yeah, cheers. And here is my dinner, the leftover fish cake from yesterday. Whoa. So we've got beans, salad, and leftover fish cake, and it comes to 474 calories. Hi guys, it is Wednesday, and I've been to the doctors this morning, finally about my sore eyes, and they prescribed some antihistamines and eye drops. So hopefully that works been going on if you've been watching my other vlogs then it's been going on for over a month uh, just making my lunch before the next lot of calls and I'm having a bagel thin with ham and salad boring but lovely when I say ham salad <laughs> there's definitely a lot more salad than ham and I've put a little bit of a course my salad cream light but yeah it's so filling and salad is literally like hardly any calories so fill up your bagels with salad as you can see Tiny bit of ham, loads of salad. And today for 100 calories, I'm gonna go for the salted caramel protein pudding. 14 grams of protein, 100 calories for the pot. Yeah, I will report back. Okay, so the texture I think is better than the one I had the other day. Let's see how it tastes. My lunch is a bit on the go, because I've got my calls in a minute. Mm. Oh, oh, very smooth, very creamy, lovely salt caramel flavour. Oh, yeah, it's lovely. Texture of custard, I'd say. In fact, it tastes a little bit like ambrosia. Um, is it ambrosia custard? It tastes a lot like that, actually, with the salt caramel flavour. Yeah, okay, that didn't touch the sides. <laughs> it's gone. 100 calories gone, but that was lovely. Protein keeps you fuller for longer as well, so it's always good to try and up your protein when you're calorie counting. And what I speak to my slimmers about all the time, obviously you've got your own choice on the higher steps of how you use your calories, but personally, I always recommend going for um, foods that are high in protein, not necessarily low in fat, but foods that are gonna keep you fuller for longer and not empty calories. So yes, if you want a chocolate bar, go ahead, but it's not gonna make you very full and it's gonna probably make you crave more sugar later on. And I've actually got a few people on higher steps that are using their calories, personally, I think in the wrong way, but obviously everyone's different and everyone can do what they want. I don't know why it keeps going blurry, it's so annoying. Uh, so yeah, they're eating more empty calories, so they're really fancy like a packet of crisps or a chocolate bar or a sugary latte or whatever they're choosing, but then they're saying to me, I'm really, really hungry or I feel more deprived on like the higher steps. And actually that's because they're eating the wrong calories, not the wrong calories, but the, maybe the not bet, maybe not the best choice of calories. So things like lean meats, fish, proteins like that, lots of vegetables, salads. Obviously don't cut out carbs, you do not need to cut out carbs. I think a lot of people think you do, but you really don't. But I would say kind of really think about the protein content and the sugar content. I still have a bit of sugar, obviously, in the day, but I don't eat really sugary snacks. And if you're gonna go for sugary snacks, go for like natural sugars like fruit, I would say. 
so yeah hopefully these vlogs are helping you with the kind of choices that i like to make but they definitely keep me full and i don't feel i don't feel actually hungry at all on this step so far so that's good i'm not going to bed hungry but I'm, and i'm managing to leave my bar till a bit later at night so i'm having that before bed so far going really really well on step four and i'm going to do it for the whole of february and then I'm going to do step five for, I think, a week and a half or two weeks just before we go to Mexico, just to show you a little bit of step five too. And then I'll probably vlog Mexico as well because it's a winner's trip with the one-to-one -one diet. Head office put it on for the winners. I got Diamond Champ woo last year, so that's amazing. I get to go to Mexico, all expenses paid. Jim's coming with me. And apparently I've heard on the grapevine that because I'm leader of the year, which is like the top of the Diamond Champs, oh, which is very exciting, Apparently I get an upgrade and I get spoiled. So we shall see, but I'm gonna take you along on that ride, on that journey in, um, in March. And then I'll probably do another vlog for when I go on my family holiday as well to the Maldives in April. It's for my 40th, me and Jim are 10 year anniversary this year as well. So it's a very special year. We thought why not celebrate in style? So yeah, I'm going to take you along on that too. But yeah, just keep following my channel for future vlogs and I will try and keep this up because I'm actually really, really enjoying it and I've had some lovely feedback, so thank you. I hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, I'll keep them coming. Right, so I'm just making dinner. I'm going to have five of these and then I'm going to make a noodle sort of stir fry to go on the side. I'm going to be using my trusty bare naked noodles. These are the protein noodles. And then I'm just going to make the little noodle dish on the side, the stir fry. So I've got courgette, onion, chilli, garlic and ginger. And I also put our golden veg water flavouring in. I'm going to add one of these beans, tender stem, broccoli and baby corn sachets to it. Microwave that and put it in. And this whole thing will be two portions, so I'll show you it once it's nearly done. I'm also going to put a stir fry sauce in. I'm going to use this one, coconut, mango and lime. Right, so that's the microwave veg gone in there. Give that a mix. I'll put in the stir fry sauce in a second and then the noodles. Remember, if you're using these, always, always rinse them underwater in a sieve before you put them in because they've got a bit of a funny smell. <laughs> so I always, always rinse them. Right, that's the rinsed noodles going in. And the sauce is in there. And just to show you, it comes out at 371. So I've got five of the duck parcels with the noodles, onion courgette, the sauce and the veg, 371. And these it says to steam for eight minutes so I will let you know how I get on with them. I've never had these before but they look amazing so I thought I'd try them. This is how the noodles are looking. So half of this with five of them and that's my dinner. Whoa 371 calories for all of that? Yes, please, get in my belly. <laughs> wow. Those dumplings are the shit. <laughs> oh my God. Duck and hoisin sauce. Mm. One of my favorite things in the whole world. In a dumpling, even better. Oh my God. Wow, they are amazing. And now for my trusty berries and yogurt for 98 calories. I feel like I've had loads today. This is going really well. And then tonight I've still got my bar. Woohoo! I've just had Nicardo delivery, so I thought I'd do a little mini food haul for you. I've had a few requests from people to show what I'm buying. And we do our normal shop from Sainsbury's, but while I'm on plan, I've been treating myself weekly to a little M&S Nicardo delivery. So I'll show you what I've got. I found these low carb tortillas. They're made from tomatoes, apparently. Protein, 20 grams. You get eight in the bag, and they are 112 calories each. So I thought they'd be quite good for lunches. And then I've got my favorite Rosa Verde salad, and it was on three for seven pound, I think. So I got some couscous with that as well. I've got some frozen cauliflower rice portions. My favorite protein thin bagels that I have for lunch. And then I've got a couple of soups again. So I've done the chicken and lentil again, because that was really, really nice. And then I've gone for pea and creme fraiche for the other one. So half a portion of those with a bagel thin is really good for lunch. Then I've got my bare naked rice and noodles. These are a godsend to bulk out dinners for like 30 calories for the whole bag, which I think is amazing. These were on three for 
three for 10, I think. So I've got the katsu fish cakes again, they were amazing. Kids absolutely loved these battered haddock fingers. They said they were really good. Got some chicken stir fry strips, and then I got my favorite salmon, sweet chili, ginger and soy fillets. Got myself some balsamic glaze because I absolutely love this on a salad. And I spotted this, which is like a breakfast topper. And you can add it to, like, I thought I could add it to my yogurt and fruit. It's got chia, blueberries, coconut, pumpkin seeds, hemp hearts, whatever they are, almonds, buckwheat, and a kai. And you can only have a tiny bit because obviously it's quite high in calories when you're having nuts or seeds. But I thought it's good protein, good fibre to add. Got Bethany, her favourite prawn cocktail. This is ridiculously expensive, but she absolutely loves it. And it is so much nicer than the normal one, but obviously it's much higher in calories. She loves that, either as a prawn cocktail or in a sandwich. Sometimes has it in a jacket potato as well. And then I got myself the reduced fat normal one, which definitely isn't as nice, but it's still pretty good. It's a good substitute. Then my favourite pizzas. Got two of these today. I got one for Jim, I think he's going to have the chicken one and I'm going to have the veggie one, the buffalo mozzarella with basil. That is always a good Friday night treat so I'm going to save that and have it with the salad. And then these were on offer so it's just a random purchase. I love the Outdoorable, it's so strong and if you know me you know I love fabric softener, especially the <laughs> Lenore one, Spring Awakening is the best. But these were on offer, yeah, I think they were only, I can't remember how much they were but they were half price. So that's my little mini Ocado shop. I mean, it's bloody expensive and not sure if I will carry this on, but I think for the purpose of this vlog, I think it's nice to treat myself to a few yummy extras. Hope you enjoyed. Today I've made the tomato tortilla wrap with the reduced fat prawn that I got from Ocado with some lettuce and it comes out at 282. Oh, that wrap was lovely. I did use half the tub of the prawns because I just thought, you know, I didn't want them to go to waste and they were really, really nice. I just noticed there's loads of rubbish in the background. And I'm gonna have one of the protein puddings actually. Let's have a look. Chocolate, with chocolate pieces. I'm gonna have this one today. And this is 89 calories, win. Okay, so this is it. 15 grams of protein, 89 calories. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be like that. So this has got chocolate pieces. Oh, nice. Quite thick. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's nice. Right, I'm just gonna give you an idea of what my day looks like. So breakfast, normal. I had my wrap, obviously, for lunch and the pudding. And then for dinner, I'm gonna have the same as yesterday with the noodles and the lovely little, how do you say that, gyoza? But I'm only gonna have four because I want to also have my bar, but I also want my snack with yogurt and my lunch would have taken me over. So I'm just gonna have four of them instead of five and it brings my calories to 1,210. Just for proof, I'm only having four. I can't be bothered to make it look fancy tonight. I'm just having it out of the bowl. <laughs> but I've heated the stir fry in. Right, a little update on yesterday. I was absolutely ravenous and I had everything on set four by half past five. I had that dinner really early at three, then I had my fruit and yogurt, and then I had my bar at half five and I was just so hungry and I've looked on my app and I'm due on on Sunday. So that explains it. But the moral of the story here is do not come off plan until you've had everything. Don't even think about cheating until you've had everything on your step for that day. And then even then, don't cheat, go to bed like I did. So I got into bed at half past seven. I did all my self care, you know, skincare. I did my fake tan to make myself feel better. And then I got into bed at half past seven. And then Jim came up at nine and we watched our program, The Light in the Hall. We're on episode, just watched episode two. So we're gonna watch three tonight to give us something to watch in between Happy Valley. And then we were asleep just before 10. So, you can stick to plan, no matter how hard it is, it's just hunger, it's all up here. You need discipline, you need to be strict with yourself, you need to override those thoughts. You know, I was actually genuinely really hungry, like really hungry, my stomach was hurting, but I stuck to it and I went to bed and I feel very proud today, so I thought I'd share that. So today is day five on step four. So if you've watched my previous vlogs, I've done a whole month 100% on step three and I lost 11 pounds. Really, really happy with that. Or it might've even been 11 and a half pounds. And step four is just 
step through with an extra 200 calories basically so this is my breakfast as always i know i'm boring and i should showcase the products but i just love this so that's what i'm having i've given up on like showing loads and loads of variety now because you'll find when you're on plan you do get your favorites and you do end up just wanting like four three or four different things for me it's three different things vanilla shake with coffee fruit and nut bar and a peanut bar they're the only things that i love and they're the ones that i want they're just what i fancy and that's what i've been having so i have my shake in the morning then i can now have a three to four hundred calorie lunch a three to four hundred calorie dinner and another product in the evening and if i stick to just 300 for each meal that gives me another 200 so in total you basically get two products and 800 calories worth of conventional food it's up to you how you choose to eat that conventional food or how how you choose to use your calories the booklet is a guide the booklet you'll get when you start plan has an ingredients list and it's like a traffic light system so if the if it comes under the green section then obviously it's the better option it keeps you fuller for longer you get more for your calories then there is amber and red options again I don't necessarily follow these to the to the point. If I had a slimmer that maybe wasn't losing as much as they'd hoped on the higher steps, then I'd probably change them to the green options. But to be honest, have what you want. Have what you want. And you soon learn that actually, if you have something that's high sugar, processed, and you know, full of fat, basically doesn't keep you very full, full for very long, and it doesn't make you feel very good. So actually, eating lots of lean proteins, lots of vegetables, salads, fruit, yogurt if you can a lot of my clients are like dairy intolerant or lactose intolerant so can't have that but you know a mixture of everything varied diet is always going to make you feel the best and i like to use my calories and get as much food as i possibly can so that's what i'm trying to show you <laughs> my dinner yesterday and the day before was like one of my favorites that was so nice with the noodles and those um gyozas i don't know if that's how you say it oh they're so good and i've got four left in the freezer so i'll have them another night but today is Friday, so today for me is pizza night. I treat Fridays as like my treat day and I still stay within my calories, but I choose to have the M&S pizza. And now because I'm on step four, I can have the whole pizza. If I can last out that long, if not, I'll have some more food in the day and just have half the pizza tonight and half tomorrow. But I will keep you posted and show you what I have. Right, I've just made my lunch and it comes out at 371 calories, I will show you. Okay, this is my lunch. This is a full bowl of salad from m and I took the cucumber out, I'm a weirdo, don't like cucumber. And I've used 100 grams of this Moroccan style fruity couscous and half a pot of the reduced fat prawn cocktail. And it comes to 391, it's a big bowl. And then for dinner tonight, I've worked out I can't actually have the salad with it, with the salad cream, because I haven't got enough calories. So I'm just gonna have the pizza. I'm just gonna scoff a whole pizza, Friday night treat, and then I'll have my bar later on. But this is my lunch and I'm really excited. These I haven't put away yet, but if you haven't got these in your life, you need them. They are so good. The rice is 30 calories a bag, and the noodles are, what? I don't know, what's 26 times two? so bad I can't even think but yeah hardly any calories oh. random there you go I'm gonna devour this now today is another hungry day unfortunately I just downed another pint of water that salad was delicious to be fair I mixed it all together it didn't look as pretty but oh my god it was lush that couscous is really really nice really tasty added to the salad perfectly it was lovely what I'm probably gonna do is have my pizza quite early after the school run not early but maybe when the kids have their dinner about five ish and then i'll have my bar later on <sighs> it's hard when you do on you're so hungry and weirdly it was easier on the lower steps delivery man no that's not for me it's actually easier on the lower steps i think when you're eating more food you want more food so it is harder but i know i can do it and i know after this weekend i'll be fine again it's just some days are harder than others and you just have to push through and I would much rather feel proud of myself than disappointed. Do you know what I mean? The next day. And it's not disappointed from eating. I am eating. Do you know what I mean? I'm getting a lot of food. But it's the disappointment in losing that discipline and that, that focus on my goal. And obviously, I would never do it because I wouldn't let you guys down. I've committed and I will not come off plan. No matter what. I will not. So step four, going strong. Way day on Monday. I will keep you posted and obviously let you know what I lose on Monday. I'll show you the pizza later. I'm gonna have the veggie one, the mozzarella one. And then 
over the weekend were quite busy, but I should be able to do a bit tomorrow. Sunday, Bethany's got a birthday party, so I'll be out at that. I don't know what I'm gonna eat, actually. I've got the katsu curry fish cakes out, ready for tomorrow, so I'll probably have them. And I've also got some chicken to use for the Nando's wrap, because I've still got the barbecue wrap left. So I might have that for lunch, and then maybe the katsu for dinner. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I'll have to work out the calories, but yeah, looking forward to tomorrow already. <laughs> Okay, so this is the pizza that's in the oven and the whole thing is 439 calories. Okay, and here it is. And I'm gonna have it all. Unfortunately, nothing on the side, but I think this would be all right. <laughs> Happy Saturday. I had another hungry day yesterday, so I went to bed really early again. Had all of my stuff by like half four. <laughs> it's so bad, but I just see it as, do you know what, if you struggle on those days, just get it all in and then have an early night because there's no need to come off plan, especially before you've even stuck to your own plan. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, feeling really proud again today that I did it. And we've just announced our winner. We did a raffle on Instagram, me and Rach to raise money for a really close cause to us. We just really wanted to help somehow, so we did a raffle and we've just announced the first winner. So the lovely Jade, who I've shared on my previous vlog, she's actually won it. The website chooses automatically and it chose Jade. We were like, oh my God, how exciting. Like, I love that girl so much. And she is now gonna go on an afternoon, afternoon tea at the Ivy with me and Rach and then we're giving her a hundred pound voucher to go shopping. So yeah, it's really exciting. We've decided to wait until she's a girl because obviously she's still on her, her own journey. So yeah, we've got, I think she's hoping to get to goal around August time. So we're gonna hopefully plan the afternoon tea mid-September. And yeah, it should work out really good timing because she would have moved up the steps then, hopefully on about step four by then. Fingers crossed, if everything goes to plan. I'm sure it will because she's amazing and she's just on it. And the thing with this plan, you can almost predict when you're going to get to goal because you just know roughly the losses are about a stone a month. I'm really, really excited for her. So that was lovely. That was a nice little boost this morning to give her that prize. And then the one for the consultant community, which is basically training with me and Rach, we've offered like a special training session on Zoom, social media hall, like to help them with their bio and stuff like that. So we've put that out to the consultants and that one closes tomorrow. So we'll announce the winner for that one, which is exciting. Um, but overall we've raised nearly two grand. So yeah, amazing. Thank you to everyone who entered and congratulations obviously to Jay and I will announce the next winner tomorrow. Right, quick update on today's lunch. So I'm going for the salad again. I've just put the salad into a bowl with half of the couscous again, 20 grams of salad cream light, 10 grams of balsamic glaze, and then I've added a chicken, well, I'm going to add a chicken breast. I'm using these Cajun, Cajun chicken breast grills from Sainsbury's. You can have one chicken breast. I mean, they're quite high because they're marinated in like oils and stuff, but they are delish. I'm gonna add a, one of those chicken breasts to the salad and the total comes out at 463. So it's quite high for a salad, but it's gonna be bloody filling. And I love a salad when it's full of loads of different stuff. And then for dinner, I've planned 351 calories, cod, katsu, fish cakes, my fave, tender green medley of veg, and then I'm gonna have the cognac rice with the um, with some, actually, I've added broccoli florets, but I don't need to, because I can add the tender. Okay, so let's take that back down to 316 and I'm gonna have the bare naked rice and mash up some of the broccoli from the medley and add that to the rice and then I'll have the rest of the medley and that's 316 calories for dinner, which I think is amazing. Love a fish cake. Fruit and nut bar later, ofs. Total 1,190, boom. And while I'm here, for tomorrow's lunch, I'm gonna have the other Nando, um, I bought these Nando wrap kits. This is the barbecue one. Because I'm cooking all of that, Cajun chicken already. I'm just gonna use that tomorrow because I'll have two breasts, <laughs> two breasts to use um, <laughs> over the next two days. So I'll probably have a Nando's wrap tomorrow and the next day for lunch. These are really good. I mean, they're not that low in calorie, but they're really nice. You add a load of salad to it and they're Peroné sachets and sweet chili jam. Honestly, it's so good with the chicken and the lettuce and the tomato. <laughs> And you can put the barbecue seasoning obviously on the chicken, but I'm gonna probably save that. If I'm using the Cajun, it's gonna be quite strong tasting anyway. Uh, so I will show you that tomorrow. Here it is guys. Oh my God, isn't that just like heaven in a bowl? 
Look how big that is as well. Foam for reference. Like it's huge. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. I'm starving. <laughs> so I've decided to have the whole bag of bare naked rice because it's only 30 calories. I've added that medley. I've chopped all the medley up so it's in smaller pieces um, and added that to the rice and then I'm going to cook the fish cakes. Obviously I'm only having one. But the whole bag is only 30 calories so my total now comes to 1,205 for the day. So I've still got a bar left after this. I feel so much better today. Even though it is early, I am still going to be having dinner early. I just don't like leaving it too long between meals. Because if I get over hungry, that's when you feel like this isn't going to cut it. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like if I've got a smaller gap between, I feel all right. <laughs> I don't know why I feel more hungry on step four. I think it is just the period, but it's been a struggle. And then the kids are having an easy tea. I've got the mini waffles. And then they've got those haddock tempura battered fish fingers from M&S, they loved them last time, so I'll do them with some veg. And here it is, fish cake with rice and veggies mixed in. I used a little bit of barbecue seasoning as well in the rice and the golden veg. So hopefully this is nice. And the katsu sauce is amazing. So Finley's gone out with his uncle to the cinema. What are we gonna do? Sit in bed having a movie. Having a girl's night, movie I, night. I wanna show you the Okay. So on Sunday, yeah. well, tomorrow, it's tomorrow. my friend's birthday and her name's Bethany. Oh, same name as you. And so I got her this card. Mm -hmm. It's a little Miss Princess card. Oh, is she a princess? And then two of these. Um, they're mini brand series three. Oh, sorry, who got those? Mama! <laughs> Do you think she'll like them? Yeah. Yeah. Right, me and Beth are in bed. We're going to have a movie night. She's got her. What have you got? Chocolate. Chocolate. I've got my fruit and nut bar. And I also got Oreos. Jim is creeping around behind. Do you want to see Jim? Yeah. Pretending he's not in here? Cleaning. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course you are. He's tidying up. Well, sorting out. Oh, no, you're getting your trunks for the hot tub, I see. And cleaning. Oh, okay. Left the ladder in here. Thanks, darling. We were like, no boys, no boys allowed. Finney's out of the cinema with his brother, with his uncle, my brother. And we're gonna have our snacks, aren't we? And we'll watch a film. What do you wanna watch? We're gonna find something, something new. Bethany reckons this is boring now. I'm still like, loving it. Come on, Beth, that's not boring. No one wants to see you putting up We can hide the ladder, look. Bye, ladder. Pretend it's not there. Are we doing Netflix or are we doing Disney? Um, second one. I thought so, I'd already pressed it. I know you. Right there, love. Having a nice time with your chocolate and your Oreos. <laughs> Woo! I'm just going to have my bar while she picks a film. Dip it in my decaf tea. Mm. I have to bite it on the side because my teeth are still quite sensitive. <laughs> oh my god, this bar. I know. It is heaven. Mummy, I know we've watched it before, but it's like the best film ever. What? Zombies. It is a good film. Okay. We can sing along. Deal. Right, for lunch today I've made the Nando's wrap and I've used one of the chicken breasts that I cooked yesterday and it's got the sweet chilli jam with the Perrine sauce and salad. Right, I've got a bit of time while Bethany's out, so I'm just gonna prep the curry for dinner tonight. This is gonna serve three, and this is the mango, chili and lime marinated chicken from Sainsbury's. And then I've added one of the korma pots from Patax, one of them. And then I'm gonna add some of this to the side later with cauliflower rice. And to make the sauce, I'm using this light coconut milk. Right, that's the coconut milk added, and then I'm just gonna boil that for a minute and then I'll reheat it again later when it's time to eat. And I've also got enough calories to have a mini garlic coriander naan with it. I think I can only have half, but I'll check that on my calories later. But I will show you what this looks like when I make it. Okay, here it is. Cauliflower rice, green veg medley, homemade chicken curry, and half a naan bread. 
half a mini naan bread. Oh, looks amazing. Just making my decaf coffee and I'm putting these hazelnut drops in. I've run out of butter biscuit, which is my favorite, but it's on its way. This is really nice and coffee and in the chocolate shake. Good morning, it is Monday the 6th of February and I lost 2.8 pounds this week, so nearly three pounds, which takes my total to just over a stone in five weeks. So that was four weeks on step three, one week on step four, and then I'm carrying on on step four through the whole of February. God knows what I'm gonna lose weekly, but that was a pleasant surprise this morning and explains the hunger. And yeah, just shows you can stick to it. And usually when you're feeling really hungry, it ends in a pretty good result, to be honest. So yeah, onwards and downwards this week and another week on step four. Also just want to say thank you for watching, thank you for all of your support. If you're liking these vlogs please subscribe to my channel and click the like button down below and I shall see you soon.